Welcome to our exploration of the gods and goddesses of Hinduism. Hinduism is one of the oldest and most complex religions in the world with a rich mythology that spans thousands of years. In this video, we will take a closer look at five of the most significant gods and goddesses in Hinduism and explore their stories, symbolism, and significance. From the powerful and mighty Shiva to the nurturing and loving Parvati, each deity in the Hindu pantheon represents a unique aspect of the divine. Through their stories and symbolism, we can gain a deeper understanding of the human experience and the mysteries of the universe. Join us as we embark on a journey through the world of Hinduism and gain a deeper appreciation for the gods and goddesses who continue to inspire and guide millions of people around the world. Our first deity is Brahma, the creator of the universe. According to Hindu mythology, Brahma was born from a lotus flower that grew from the navel of Lord Vishnu, the preserver of the universe. Brahma is said to have created the universe out of nothingness and gave birth to the first beings. He is often depicted with four faces and four arms, each face representing one of the four Vedas, which are considered the foundation of Hinduism. The story of Brahma begins with the emptiness of the universe. In the beginning, there was only darkness and chaos, and it was Brahma who brought order to the universe. Brahma emerged from a golden egg and was tasked with creating the world and all its inhabitants. Brahma's first attempt at creation was unsuccessful, and he became frustrated. It was then that he realized the importance of knowledge and meditation. Brahma began to meditate, and from his mind, came the knowledge needed to create the universe. Brahma then created the four Kumaras, the first beings in the universe. He also created the seven great sages, the Prajapatis, who were responsible for creating the various creatures and beings in the world. Brahma's four faces represent the four Vedas, which are considered the most sacred scriptures in Hinduism. The Vedas contain hymns, mantras, and rituals that are believed to be divine revelations. Brahma's four arms represent the four goals of human life, known as the Purusharthas. These goals are dharma, righteousness, artha, wealth, karma, desire, and moksha, liberation. Brahma swan represents the power of discrimination, while the lotus represents purity and detachment. Brahma is often depicted sitting on a lotus, which symbolizes his detachment from the material world. The four arms of Brahma are also symbolic of his powers. One of his hands holds a scepter or a spoon, which represents his power to create the universe. Another hand holds a string of prayer beads or a book, representing his knowledge and wisdom. The third hand holds a lotus, which is a symbol of purity and creation, while the fourth hand holds a pot of water, representing the essence of life. Brahma is a significant figure in Hindu mythology, but he is not as widely worshipped as other gods in the Hindu pantheon. One reason for this is that there are very few temples dedicated to Brahma. Brahma is also depicted riding on a swan and holding a lotus flower. The swan symbolizes his ability to discriminate between good and evil, while the lotus represents purity and creation. This imagery is meant to convey Brahma's power over creation, knowledge, and wisdom. There are many rituals and prayers that can be performed by individuals to seek Brahma's blessings. One such prayer is the Brahma Gayatri Mantra, which is a powerful hymn that invokes Brahma's blessings for knowledge and wisdom. Devotees also offer flowers, fruits, and other offerings to Brahma during puja, a ritualistic worship that is performed at home or in temples. Many people believe that by worshipping Brahma, they can gain the power of creation, knowledge, and wisdom. Despite this, Brahma is still revered by many Hindus. He is seen as the god of creation, and people offer prayers and perform rituals in his honor to seek his blessings for creativity, knowledge, and wisdom. Our next deity is Vishnu, the preserver of the universe. Vishnu is regarded as one of the most important gods, 
as he is responsible for preserving the balance of the universe. He is often depicted with blue skin and four arms, holding a conch shell. According to Hindu mythology, Vishnu is responsible for maintaining the balance of the universe and preventing it from descending into chaos. He is also believed to have ten incarnations, known as the Dashvataras, which include the popular figures of Krishna and Rama. A discus, a make, and a lotus. Vishnu is often depicted in Hindu art and iconography as resting on the called serpent Ananta, which represents the infinite universe. He is also shown riding on the eagle Garuda, which is believed to be his mount. The conch shell that Vishnu holds symbolizes the primordial sound that marks the beginning of creation, while the discus represents the cycle of time and the make symbolizes the power of knowledge. Vishnu is one of the most widely worshipped gods in Hinduism, and his devotees believe that he will incarnate on earth whenever the balance of the universe is threatened. The most famous of his incarnations is Krishna, who is regarded as a divine hero and the embodiment of love and compassion. Many people offer prayers and perform rituals in honor of Vishnu to seek his blessings for protection, good health, and prosperity. His worshippers also believe that he can provide guidance and support in times of crisis. There are many legends associated with Vishnu and his incarnations, each of which highlights his role as the preserver of the universe. For example, the legend of Rama tells the story of how Vishnu incarnated as a human prince to defeat the demon king Ravana and restore order to the universe. Another famous legend tells the story of how Vishnu took the form of the bow-headed god Varha to rescue the earth from the depths of the ocean. In this form, Vishnu dived into the ocean and lifted the earth on his tusks, symbolizing his power to preserve the world. Vishnu's ten incarnations, known as the Dashvataras, are some of the most beloved figures in Hindu mythology. Each incarnation represents a different aspect of Vishnu's power and is said to have been sent to earth to defeat evil and restore balance to the universe. The first incarnation of Vishnu is Matsya, the fish avatar. In this form, Vishnu saved the first man, Manu, and all the animals from a great flood. The second incarnation is Kurma, the tortoise avatar, who helped the gods and demons churn the ocean of milk to retrieve the elixir of immortality. The third incarnation is Varha, the boar avatar, who rescued the earth from the demon Hiranyaksha by lifting it out of the cosmic ocean. The fourth incarnation is Narsimha, the half-man, half-lion avatar, who saved the devotee Prahlad from his evil father, Hiranyakashipu. The fifth incarnation is Vaman, the dwarf avatar, who tricked the demon king Bali into giving up his power and restored balance to the universe. The sixth incarnation is Parshura, the warrior avatar, who killed all the evil kings on earth to restore order. The seventh incarnation is Rama, the prince avatar, who defeated the demon king Ravana and rescued his wife Sita with the help of his loyal friend Hanuman. The eighth incarnation is Krishna, the cowherd avatar, who taught the world the principles of love and righteousness in the epic Mahabharata. The ninth incarnation is Buddha, who taught the world the principles of non-violence and compassion. The tenth and final incarnation is Kalki, who is yet to come. It is believed that Kalki will come at the end of the current age, known as the Kali Yuga, to defeat evil and restore balance to the universe. Vishnu is worshipped by millions of Hindus around the world, who seek his blessings for protection, prosperity, and spiritual growth. His devotees perform elaborate rituals and offer prayers to him in various forms, including the popular deity Krishna, who is considered by many to be the most complete incarnation of Vishnu. Our third deity is Shiva, the destroyer of the universe. The third eye of Shiva represents his ability to see beyond the material world and into the spiritual realm. It is also a symbol of his wisdom and understanding. Shiva is one of the most revered and complex deities in Hinduism. He is known as the destroyer of the universe and is responsible for ending each cycle of creation and preparing for a new one. Shiva is often depicted with a third eye, 
The crescent moon on his forehead represents the cycle of time and the phases of the moon, which are inextricably linked to the cycles of creation and destruction. The snake around his neck represents his mastery over the primal forces of nature and his ability to control them. These symbols hold great significance and are representative of his immense power. Shiva's dual nature is also reflected in his depiction. He is often shown with a calm and meditative demeanor, representing his transcendence beyond the material world. However, he is also associated with fears and destructive forces, such as his dance of destruction, the Tandav. This dance is said to destroy the universe and is often depicted in Hindu art. Despite his fearsome reputation as a destroyer, Shiva is also associated with compassion and benevolence. Shiva is also a god of regeneration and rebirth. He is associated with the holy river Ganges, which is believed to have descended from his matted locks. He is also associated with the lingam, a phallic symbol that represents the power of creation. He is often depicted as a family man, with his wife Parvati and their two sons, Ganesha and Kartike. Many Hindus also worship Shiva as a deity of fertility and virility. In addition to his many roles and attributes, Shiva is also associated with various symbols and rituals. His trident, or Trishula, represents his power over the three aspects of existence, creation, preservation, and destruction. His snake represents his control over the life force, or Kundalini, and his third eye symbolizes his knowledge and insight into the nature of reality. Overall, Shiva is a complex and multifaceted deity, embodying both destructive and creative forces. He is a symbol of the cyclical nature of existence and a reminder that destruction and change are necessary for growth and renewal. Many Hindus worship him as the ultimate yogi and meditator, seeking his guidance and blessings for their spiritual practice. Our fourth deity is Durga, the goddess of power and protection. In Hindu mythology, Durga is a powerful and fierce goddess who is revered as the embodiment of feminine energy. She is often depicted as riding a lion or a tiger, with many arms holding weapons and other symbols of power. Durga's name comes from the Sanskrit word Durgam, which means invincible or difficult to conquer. According to legend, the gods created Durga to defeat the demon Mahishasura who had taken over the universe and threatened to destroy all creation. Durga is worshipped by millions of people in Nepal and India and around the world, especially during the festival of Navratri. This festival is celebrated over nine days and nights in honor of Durga's victory over Mahishasura. Each day of the festival is dedicated to one of Durga's nine forms or avatars and devotees offer prayers and perform rituals in her honor. It is believed that during Navratri, Durga's power is at its peak and that she can protect her devotees from harm and adversity. Durga is often associated with the power of good over evil, and her devotees believe that she can help them overcome obstacles and challenges in their lives. She is also seen as a symbol of courage and strength, inspiring women and men alike to stand up for what is right and to fight against injustice. One of the most popular stories about Durga is the tale of her battle with Mahishasura. According to the legend, Mahishasura was a powerful demon who had been granted a boon by the god Brahma, which made him virtually invincible. With his newfound power, Mahishasura began to wreak havoc on the universe, destroying everything in his path. The gods knew they needed to stop Mahishasura, but none of them was strong enough to defeat him. So they created Durga, a goddess with the power of all the gods combined. Durga fought Mahishasura for nine days and nights, finally defeating him on the tenth day. The festival of Navratri celebrates this victory of good over evil, and it is a time for devotees to seek Durga's blessings for protection and prosperity. During the festival, people decorate their homes and temples with colorful lights and flowers, and they perform traditional dances and songs in honor of the goddess. Durga is a powerful and beloved deity in Hindu mythology, 
known for her strength, courage, and ability to protect her devotees. She represents the power of good over evil, and her story inspires millions of people around the world to stand up for what is right and to fight against injustice. Whether through prayer, ritual, or celebration, Durga's devotees continue to honor her and seek her blessings for a better and more prosperous life. Our fifth and final deity is Kali, the goddess of time and change. Kali is one of the most fascinating deities in the Hindu pantheon. She is often depicted with a fierce and terrifying appearance, with multiple arms holding weapons and a severed head. Despite her fearsome appearance, Kali is also associated with maternal love and compassion, representing the dual nature of existence. According to Hindu mythology, Kali is the destroyer of evil and ignorance and the liberator of the soul. She is believed to have emerged from the forehead of the goddess Durga, who created her to defeat the demon Raktabija. Raktabija had the power to multiply himself every time a drop of his blood fell to the ground, making him almost invincible. However, Kali was able to defeat him by drinking all his blood before it could touch the ground. Kali is worshipped by many Hindus, especially in Nepal and India. Her devotees believe that she can help them overcome obstacles and achieve spiritual liberation. Kali is also associated with the cycle of birth, death, and rebirth, as she represents the constant flow of time and change. Kali's many arms holding weapons represent the different aspects of life that must be faced and overcome in order to achieve spiritual enlightenment. In addition to her destructive powers, Kali is also associated with creation and fertility. She is often depicted with a garland of skulls, which represents the cycle of life and death, and a severed head, which symbolizes the ego that must be overcome in order to achieve spiritual liberation. Kali is a complex and multifaceted deity who represents the dual nature of existence. She is worshipped by many Hindus as a powerful and compassionate goddess who can help them overcome obstacles and achieve spiritual liberation. Despite her fearsome appearance, Kali reminds us that change is inevitable in life and that we must embrace it in order to grow and evolve. Hinduism is a complex and multifaceted religion that is deeply intertwined with the history and culture of Nepal and India. The Hindu pantheon is composed of countless deities, each with their own unique attributes, powers, and mythologies. While some deities are more widely worshipped than others, all of them play a significant role in the rich tapestry of Hindu belief and practice. The five deities discussed in this video Brahma, Vishnu, Shiva, Durga, and Kali represent just a small fraction of the vast array of gods and goddesses worshipped by Hindus around the world. Each of these deities embodies different aspects of the human experience, from creation and preservation to destruction and transformation. Ultimately, the Hindu pantheon serves as a reminder of the diversity and complexity of the human experience, as well as the rich cultural traditions that continue to shape our world today. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the divine world of Hinduism and its mythology. We hope you learned something new and gained a deeper appreciation for the complex and fascinating religion. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe our channel Natural Nepal for more content like this. See you in our next video. Until then, Namaste.